Greetings, welcome back to Fable Anniversary. Um, I don't know. Let's go rescue the last traitor. Oh, of course, he's got to be the. Oh, no, first of all, let's open you up. Huh? Oh, one was a gallant knight. Then there was an e the la ah where is oh, the okay. evil mage I await. The evil mage you say Come on. Dark 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 where is it there? I recognize you the evil mage. Where is Christopher's bandit I await? Give me a second. Yeah. Mm, who's bandit? I recognize you, the mischievous bandit. Indeed. My friends, welcome. Pretty place. Except for those lightnings. The dark quite unnerving. The dull master's maze. Yeah. Quick fingers and an eye for detail were the dull master's trademarks. Not only once did he use his skills to create a weapon. This was the result as colossal as his dolls were delicate. Oh, and it has mana augmentation. If I'm ever gonna be mage only, then I will use that mace. <laughs> right, boy. Thank you. Oh, not here. Like so. Oh. oh, you've got to be kidding me. I have to go there from Oakville. The shame. Really? Oh, and I have some gold to collect. Wrong way. No, right way? No, wrong way. Okay. Oh, um. We will have to invest in toughness next time we're in guild. No, 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 no. I think I will need a lady from Bowerstone. Or the Chris House Demon Door. And I'll need to buy a wedding ring. Yeah. And I'll have to go with her. Oh, it's only two places. No, not the places. Um, yeah. To carry, well, guide her from the Barrowstone Garden Grey House. I don't know if I want to do that. Please help me. Thomas, my brother, is lost somewhere up ahead. Follow me. I think he's somewhere up here. Okay. Please tell me you really have a little uh, lost. Brother, somewhere here. Deeper into the forest. I'm too scared to go in. Okay. Oh, something's up. Yes, something is definitely up. Alright. 
build us a new crossbow. Wait, what? Sorry, I didn't see you. I really need a lot faster. I mean, no, they're just spawning. Seriously. Come on, get up. Oh, I hate you. Thank you. You guys are really annoying, you know that? Come on. They can seriously alive. And again. You said something? Oh. You're done, you're done. I think I'm supposed to just go all the way there and leave them alive. But I'm not gonna. They're not, they are annoying. I get up. Get up. And see you just knocked out. Thank you. I'm lost. Nice you. Please help. I'll follow you back to my brother. You must have seen it. Yeah. Follow me. Yeah. <laughs> Where? <laughs> That's a sign. Yeah, yeah, I don't care about you. Let's go. I hope that no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's over there. How is it you? Okay, it's done. Stan, where are you? Where's he? Oh, here you are. I'm scared. Get up. Okay. Um, keep up. I'm gonna leave you. Seriously. Stan, where are you? Okay. Scary. Um, yeah, and be quiet. <laughs> oh, you found him. Thank ye, thank ye. Here, have this. You might make sense of it. Thank you. Your hunt for the treasure can only come good if you start your search with fertilizing wood. Okay. Okay. Right, maybe we'll go to the mm, was the south and give some more books to the school. Hmm? And collect some money later. Have a nice visit. Okay. 
Okay, let's see, they might be still asleep, yeah. There's no reason to hurry. I'll go sleep there. Effie? What a man! I know. Oh, ah, that's a little bit of overkill. What? Hey, it's locked. What was that sound? Okay. Let's see, is there something here? Hmm. Oh, maybe there's a fish spot somewhere here. And that I check this place. Okay, there's nothing. Hmm. Someone showed up. Hi. Welcome to the Fist Fighters Gang. Okay. It's for people who like to mash each other's brains out. Okay. And it's a place where we hone our unarmed combat skills. Oh. It's also damn good fun. Now, I'm the head of this Fist Fighters Gang. Those knuckles look plenty good to me. You're in. You up for a bit of a scrap? If you want to join in some senseless brutality, it'll cost you 50 gold. You'll get gold for every round you win, and even more if you can avoid getting hit. Stay in the ring, and if you take too many hits, you lose. So, you want to fight or what? You might be a powerful hero, but this is a contest of skill. Our punches might not hurt you much, but they still count. Okay. Time oh. to loosen those teeth. Ooh. Take a sip of tea. Mm. <gasps> you bugger. You're laughing at don't you dare kick me Is there, any, is there anyone here who can actually... Myself. Okay, good luck. Get back in the... I just wanted to make some more space for myself. Come here. Some knuckle power you got. Thank you. The Thank you. Yours. Oh, it's first fight level one. Last. Okay. For a second, I thought it was another clue. Okay, where am I? Not here. This open. I need. Do I need a key? Probably need a key. Okay. Go to sleep. Also, that's a dress. Okay. I'll 
should be white most please um, go for like my income fast what no 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 you're not gonna be my sister this is not how you do that no Where's the teacher? He showed up. Okay. I think. We'll see. Yep. Take your seats. Come on. Let your teacher in. Seriously. Oh, assistant. Oh, again. Oh, what's this? The sock method? Uh, uh, yes, oh, well, uh, perhaps when they're uh, a little older, don't you think? No. All right, then. I'll give it a try. Ah, let's turn to the sock method and see how we can make you sexier in ten days. This hero seems to have truly mastered the book's teachings. Maybe he could show us what he's learned from it. Come on. <laughs> oh, my. That's quite enough of that, hero. And that brings today's lesson to a close. Definitely. I want to be just like any books for us today? Oh my! Do we not break a rule book? Ever oh, alone knows what would happen if the children got hold of this. All right then. Today we will be reading from the Windbreaker Rule Book. Perhaps the gentleman who gave us this book could demonstrate the. Uh, benefits of its teachings himself. <laughs> yes. I see. Well, that was most edifying. <laughs> but I really don't... Yay! <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Something must have crawled up inside him and died. Shit! <laughs> Mind your language in front of the children. Oh dear, I Yay! knew this was a mistake. Oh, Any books for us today? That you have there. <laughs> Ugly guy. <laughs> I'm sure you'll agree. This snotty lot needs no help in that area. Uh, uh, don't tell their parents I said that. Uh, I suppose. Today's lesson is from the Ugly Guide. Though clearly, this hero has never practiced its teachings. Now, what do you think makes a person look ugly? Having stupid hair. That's right. Certain haircuts can make a person less attractive, as can some forms of facial hair, especially on a woman. Any other ideas? Eating too much. Very good. That's why everybody in Albion has such a perfect waistline. From the greatest hero to the lowliest beggar. Except for Jenna from Orchard Farm, of course. She used to be but a slip of a girl, but now... <laughs> that woman certainly likes her cider. Uh, anyway, uh, that concludes our lesson for today. Yay! Yay! Hmm, do you have, I suppose you are not a bad person Yay! might come in useful one day. Yay! I really hope the children won't need its advice, Yay! though. Well, Yay! if you think that's wise, hero, today we will be looking at you are not a bad person. It would seem this hero has decided he has no need of the book. But perhaps 
one of you can tell me how you can make yourself less scary. Wear a pretty dress. That's right. A person's clothes say a lot about them. And wandering around town dressed in dark leather or chain mail can frighten people. Any other ideas? Don't wear anything at all. Ah. Well, uh, that might make you look more silly than scary. I'm not too sure men running around naked inspire much confidence. Perhaps we should see what the book has to say on this matter. I'm going to be your assistant. Yes. Use that pill. Ah, yeah. I'm going to get... Come on! Uh, well, uh, strictly speaking, we try not to raise any murderers in our school. Well, if you think that's wise, hero. Now, I really hope none of you follow the teachings of this book, uh, but uh, nevertheless, uh, you should learn to recognize the signs of evil. There are many ways a person can instill fear in others, such as covering one's body in tattoos and wearing dark clothes. But a truly scary person is able to express his evilness through actions alone. Let's see how this works. A hero. Would you regale us with an evil sneer, perhaps? Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> Very effective. <laughs> uh, now, uh, according to this book, uh, you can also make yourself scary by performing terrible crimes, such as uh, killing innocents. Uh, but um, I, I, I think we'll leave that chapter for uh, another day. Now then, class, let's all say thank you. To the nice hero. Yay! Any books for? I'm sure the tale of Twin Blade is quite interesting. I'm sure a bandit is a good role model for our pupils, though. All right then. Twin Blade was once a great hero, a giant of a man. His swords were feared throughout Albion, but. At the height of his fame, he abandoned the guild, deciding he had no need to earn gold through quests. He could simply take it. And so, he left for the woods and became a bandit. Over the years, he united the feuding bandit clans until he became their king. He built a vast fortified camp hidden near Oakvale and plundered the passing traders as he desired. He was as renowned and feared as he ever was, and now had no guild constraints to hold him back. Sir, what happened to Twin Blade? He was defeated in a duel by this brave hero who spared his life. But no king can face such a defeat and keep his crown, not even among bandits. Oh, I guess it's enough reading for a day. Yeah. Shame. I wonder if we have any more books to give away. I don't know because. Oh, they do disappear from my collection. Oh, that's okay. Um, okay. Of school, uh, chicken kicking, maybe. Right, we we're supposed to break the siege in not hold it. Not whole blade. Okay. And I think I'm still not. I think I need toughness and or strength with it to maximum to. Halt! Without that sword. So you're the hero they sent, eh? Well, I've got a new job for you. These bloody villagers are holding our boss, and they plan to hang him. 
So I want you to take a message to their chief. You tell him we'll raise his precious town to the ground if he doesn't hand our boss back. Got that? Well, run along then. We haven't got all day. <sighs> Good thing they don't mind me going for it all. Just want me to cooperate. I'm not letting that bandit go. He's plundered this village for far too long. We've got him under guard up the hill by the tavern, and that's where he's staying. Okay. So you'll just have to go back out there and get rid of the scum's bandit friends. Talk to the guard over there when you're ready, and he'll open the gates for you. As for me, I'm off back to my hut. Good luck. Okay, sure, no problem. Yeah. Now uh, I think that will be it for now. Oh, there's something up there. For now, thank you. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.